Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 4 here, bringing us more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And today, I'll be playing some domination with the current weapon that I'm currently, you know, doing good with the ASM. And by the way, the ASM best class setup will be coming out soon, so stay tuned, guys, and subscribe for more. You guys want to see the ASM best class setup because it is going to help you guys out in 1v1 situations. So, moving on to the topic, today's topic is about the Call of Duty players itself. Uh, the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare players are quite terrible this year. They're quite terrible, and they're more terrible than uh, Black Ops 2. You know, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is right on top of Call of Duty Ghost. Right on top of them. Call of Duty Ghost Advanced Warfare teammates would usually camp 24-7. Everybody would just go to their favorite camping spots and wait there for a kill streak that sucked ass anyways. <laughs> so, I don't understand why people camp in Call of Duty Ghost because the kill streak sucked. This year is the same story again. The same story, except this year you have spy planes, so it's pretty much not even that worse than um, it's not as worse as uh, Call of Duty Ghost. So, um, anyways, yeah, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare players camp all the goddamn time, but this time they're doing it for the kill streaks. They're not doing it for the kills to you know to save the KD or whatever. They're doing it for the kill streaks. You know, there's there's a system, system hack, there's Paladin, there's a fucking uh, bomber and everything, and everybody's just camping for that. Everybody. So when I head over into the ground war uh, lobby, and I join into a game, right away the first minute, nobody's capturing B flag. Nobody, even the enemy team sometimes don't even capture B flag. But when I go into there, I'm the only one capturing B flag. One or two guys, and that's it. Well, the rest of the people, I'm like, where the heck are they? Are they like MIA or something? Like, I press pause after they kill me on the B flag because I'm trying to capture it by myself. After they kill me, I press pause. I look at the map and people are still in the spawns or they're still back there somewhere in a corner or maybe in the building or on top of the building. That's all they're doing. And I'm like, bro, it's domination, not TDM. And that's how people treat it. People treat domination like it was t team deathmatch. That's how it looks. So anyways, guys, my point is people don't play the objectives in this game. They just don't. And when I play, you know, I play to fucking play the objectives and win the game. But I can't win it if nobody's willing to freaking, you know, help out a little bit. I just want a little bit of help. I just want people to look over the B flag and that's it. It's a simple task, but yet people can't do it. I know people will say like right now, like look at the video and tell me like, oh, you're not capturing flags either. So what's the problem? My strategy is... To cut off the path towards the B flag. And that's what I've been doing the whole gameplay. Since the beginning of the first half, I've been cutting off people towards the B flag. It was so lonely back like in the B flag, yet nobody fucking captures it. I got like five kills in a row in the first half. And I was like, alright, I guess I killed like half of the team. Where the fuck is everyone in the B flag? Why isn't nobody there? So, um, I don't know guys, this year I, I'm guessing that I have motivation towards capturing objectives because I know the objectives give you points towards your killstreaks. Maybe 100 points, maybe like 15 or so. That's good enough to your, towards your killstreak. Man, you can even get system hack with like with two uh, captures of the flags and then um, with like with two or three kills you get like system hack right away. If you have hard iron down, that, that shit becomes easier to get. So... How can I motivate these people to get into the objectives? Because this is what I'm stuck with. 80% of the time, I'm stuck with people that don't want to play the objectives. I seriously need a clan, guys. I, like, I'm like, I have all this potential, but these noobs that I'm playing with are taking advantage of it. Like, oh, he's going to do everything. He's going to call in spy planes and blah, blah. I can't do everything if you don't protect one simple thing. You got nine people, but only one is active kind of sad there because one is actually trying while the rest are just playing for kill streaks. Man, sometimes people think that KD shows it all, but when you play with like fucking, you know, good, that's how people want you. Not by camping. Oh, I can get like fucking the system hack easily by camping. Okay, you're in the clan. That's how I see clans right now. Like, why won't you recruit a guy who gets like 40 to 50 kills but instead you take over a guy who like camps in the corner and causing paladin all that all that time. Seriously, what's up with clans? Because I'm doing good over here, but yet I don't get invites. Hmm. Kinda weird. 
Well, that is it, guys. Um, that's going to be end of, the end of the gameplay and also end of my little rant here because I'm, like, seriously getting frustrated with the current players that I'm playing with. I just need a clan. If you're in a clan right now, guys, on the PS4 division, send me an invite. First come, first serve. I'll, I'm in. I'm seriously in because I'm, I'm getting tired with playing this, with this lame-ass people from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And this only goes to those people who don't play the objectives, okay? So don't get offended. So that's it. Subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and also the best class setup for the ASM.